I wouldn't have lived, I wouldn't have been alive. It was your, your kind of, whilst everything's going on in your head, you're vacant to the world around you and you're not really there. It's got a name, it's called Pure O, which is a kind of OCD. And I don't know how helpful it is to have a name for something, I don't know. It helped me when I realised that, when I heard about it, and I instantly there wasn't a doubt in my mind, I said, that's it, that's what's going on. That's what I'm experiencing. So what is pure O? Pure O is when you have the thought patterns and the intrusive thoughts without any of the physical actions to relieve them, which maybe that's, I don't know. So, and those intrusive thoughts, from mm. my knowledge of what it is, can be very disturbing. It feels like you're testing yourself. It feels like you go, God, in this situation, the worst thing you could think is, and then you have that thought, and then you think, God, George, don't have that thought again. And so you do. And then you go, well, if you're somebody that can have that thought, does that mean you are this person? And if so, you're horrible, mate, you know. And th this, th in its worst, it would be before, and this might be me dramatising it, but when I, when I remember the times, it was ev as if before my eyes had opened, they would have started. And it, and it would last until I went to bed and I wouldn't have lived, I wouldn't have been alive. It was your, your kind of, whilst everything's going on in your head, you're vacant to the world around you and you're not really there. And then you start to feel bad because you're not engaging. Well, that's it. And I've, because of the, but, but also before I had the kind of symptoms read to me and I went, this is it, um, which I have a very Hollywood memory of. In my memory of it, it's like the choir starts singing, I start <laughs> crying, everyone's high-fiving, you know, because that's how it felt. It was like, oh my, you know. I think, and I find when people talk about their health and their mental health, it's hard not to get a bit cliche and you end up, but it, it just felt like I'm not a freak. I'm not alone. What I did was I found a, um, it was like an intensive course specialising in OCD. Um, I did that. Funnily, you mentioned the Brits earlier, it finished the day of the Brits and I was in bits. I would, you know, just you've, because it was CBT and that that's essentially what you're doing is being, exp or what I experienced was I was being exposed to the things I, you know, worry about the most. And then you're getting up on stage to say, you know, how lovely a world it is. and Thank you for considering me tonight. And you can't not turn up because you're no. nominated for Best Male Artist. Yeah, yeah. And so that that was just a whole, you know, and that's, what, I'm always amazed at what you can get through, you know, um, when you just dig a little and go, come on, get through the evening. But that was uh, beneficial and there's been things I've taken from that. Um, and then I kind of put talk therapy to bed and still have for now. I'm not against it at all. I've, I've seen it help people massively. But I just think at the minute I'm, I'm trying to work with the tools I've been given. But the other thing that I realised as well, which I've found equal parts terrifying and exciting again, um, was that this probably isn't going to end. It's not like there's a cure. It's not like one day I'm going to wake up and go, do you remember when I used to... So when you, when I realised that it's like an ongoing thing, I found that kind of relaxing. I was like, oh, yeah, like you've just got to commit to trying to understand manage this it. and manage it. Exactly that. And, and that, it's, that kind of takes some pressure away from it. Um, so you have... Uh mentioned that you use transcendental meditation and that oh, you uh. hate the term. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is that something you have come to recently? Relatively, like 18 months ago. Uh -huh. Maybe. But I love it. I, I can't. It's, yeah. You're supposed to do it twice a day. You're not supposed to. But that's, you know, how it's taught. I, I aim for one a day. And it, at least it's 20 minutes with my eyes closed and a bit of peace and quiet. So it's 20 minutes of repeating the same word well, that's, over and over with your eyes closed. Well, there's this like fashion of mindfulness and often what they'll, do, I tried it out and they're trying to say like, clear your head. And that's impossible. I don't understand how you can do that really. 
Because you might have left the heating on. <laughs> well, exactly. I'm you just know. going to clear my head. Yeah. Did I close the bathroom exactly. window? I don't think I did. I'm just going to pop home before I clear my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. So I think what they're doing, it, the, the point of it is that this mantra replaces the, you have got something to focus on. It's this mantra. And naturally, you will think of other things. And you might think about other things for five minutes in a meditation, but it's to, just to remind yourself to come back. I think the point of it is, and this is what I've, I should just say, Quite soon after starting, it became very apparent that it was having a positive impact on my life. That's the only reason I carry on doing it, because I'm convinced I see a difference in myself. How do you feel after 20 minutes of transcendental meditation? It really depends. I th some people will tell you that it's, you know, the most profound experience every time, and it's like dipping your toe into, you know, eternity. I don't know. It's not like that for me. Often I'll go like, cool, that's done. This is what I've got from it. I spend my life either worrying about things I have done or have said or things that happened in the past, or I spend my life worrying about things that could potentially happen. Breach. <laughs> <laughs> None of which are, are, I'm able to do anything about. And I think that the point of the mantra is that in your day-to-day -day life, you start to replace, here we go, the present moment with the mantra if that makes sense so when you start worrying about things in your day-to-day -day life or overthinking about things instead of going back to the mantra you're able to go like oh no wait i'm in the room talking to john and Alex.